Nestled in the Persian Gulf in a sheltered bay between Qatar and the northeastern shores of Saudi Arabia, you'll find an island comprised of 50 natural and 33 man-made islands. Famed since antiquity for its pearl fisheries, the Kingdom of Bahrain was among the first of the Persian Gulf countries and kingdoms to embark on the uber-ambitious endeavour of creating man-made islands out of nothing. In an effort to draw tourists to its borders and diversify its economy, if you were asked where you'd want to spend your long, lazy summer, or even better, move permanently to live the good life, where would you pick? While Bahrain may not be at the top of many people's lists, today we'll dig into a location that you may want to consider. The Amwaj Islands, located in the Persian Gulf Island, Kingdom of Bahrain. Though Bahrain was the first emirate to discover oil back in 1932, its oil reserves are quite small compared to other countries in the region. As a result, it has attempted to develop one of the most diversified economies in the Persian Gulf. And while oil still comprises nearly 85% of Bahraini annual revenues, the economy has diversified and is aggressively expanding into numerous industries, including banking, heavy equipment, retail, and what we'll focus on today, tourism. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like our content and want to see more. Now let's get right back into it. Amwaj Island is a group of six artificial islands located in the Persian Gulf, northeast of mainland Bahrain, near the coast of Muharraq Island. It sits 15 minutes northeast of Bahrain's capital, Manama, and boasts nearly 9.5 kilometers of man-made artificial beachfront. Amwaj, derived from the Arabic word for the plural form of Mauja, means wave. Thus, Amwaj Island literally translates to Waves Island. In the early 2000s, recognizing the need to diversify its economy, the kingdom embarked on a mission to increase the number of waterfront homes, as well as offer 100% freehold land ownership opportunities to expatriates living in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Previous laws, intended to limit the inflation of local real estate due to foreign investment, were slightly relaxed such that foreigners were now able to purchase property in certain areas designated as investment or tourism. Amwaj Island, which was subsequently designated as such an area, would provide an influx of tourism and foreign capital not seen before. The project, with a budget in excess of $1.5 billion, consisted of three main phases. The first phase, land reclamation, was completed in 2003, and the second, infrastructure development, in 2004, with Cisco and Oracle paving the way for fibre optic, smart city communications on the island. The third phase, facilities development, has been ongoing ever since, and in April 2014, nearly 10 years later, it was announced that the project was substantially complete and sales of homes began. Amwaj Island is comprised of six themed islands, each offering a different living experience. Azdaf, Jude, Lulu, Tala, Majman and Najma, with a total land area of four kilometers squared. The three northernmost islands, Tala, Najma and Murjan, were primarily designated for residential units, with the other three islands having mixed uses, including residential, commercial, a marina, hotels, and schools for local residents. Equipped with world-class hotels, marinas, residential, commercial, and educational facilities, Amwaj Islands is intended to be not only a place to vacation, but a place where someone could comfortably live year-round. The project consisted of three phases, land reclamation, infrastructure development, and facilities development. In total, nearly 12 million cubic metres of sand was dredged from the sea to form the basic platform of the project. Additionally, to protect the new development from storms and erosion, a breakwater reef, 340 metres from the edge of the island was constructed with the intent of reducing wave height by 60%. In total, the reef is made up of 11 breakwater reefs, each 300 metres long and 75 metres apart. 
which in turn are made up of geotubes filled with sand and small stones. These geotubes, constructed from highly UV-stabilized, heavy-woven polypropylene geotextile fabric, drain away excess water as the tube is filled. Engineers from Oasis, TC Nicolon Corporation, in the US and Netherlands, were instrumental in making this happen. Similar to other exciting projects in the Gulf region, such as the Wild Islands and the Palm Islands, Amwaj has some rather unique characteristics. From the capital city of Manama, the land entrance to Amwaj Islands can be reached via a long causeway. In a prior video, we introduced you to a floating city in Neon called the Oxagon. However, Nearly 20 years before the Oxagon, Amwaj Island had its own version of a floating city called Almasa. Known as the Venice of Bahrain, Almasa is Arabic for jetty or harbour, and is a housing development where all villas, hotels and apartments, each with waterside mooring facilities, are surrounded by deep canals. The canals are 36 metres wide and form a network for travel throughout the area. The canals have sluice gates and sector locks designed to ensure that the level of water is maintained to within a 50 centimetre rise and fall zone to prevent flooding. Designed by world-renowned designer and architect Bernard Boeri, Almasa Floating City was among the first projects to be completed in Amwaj. Located in the heart of Amwaj Island, its central park, you'll find the lagoon. The lagoon is a commercial center offering both indoor and outdoor entertainment, retail, and even a one kilometer long water slide. Because of its very attractive 100% freehold land ownership, this means that anyone, Bahraini or not, has a right to ownership in the Amwaj Island for the relatively reasonable price of 85,000 BHD or 225,470 USD for a one-bedroom apartment. If you'd like to rent an apartment in the Amwaj Islands, it is surprisingly within the range of 450 BD to 500 BD, around 1,200 to 1,300 USD per month. While these prices may be steep for some, compared to the other man-made island projects, these are a relative steal of a deal. Further, the Amwaj Islands enjoy development at a fast-paced rate, greatly encourage community living, and offer a school, health facilities, swimming pools, and many other creature comforts. What do you think of the Amwaj Islands? Have you ever visited them, or would you want to? Let us know what you think of man-made islands and whether they're sustainable. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.